Luton Town are into the fifth round of the FA Cup. Absolutely remarkable scenes at Vicarage Road. Super sub for Shrewsbury has come on and scored twice. He could have a while to wait, couldn't he, to get into the team, but... You know, Minamino's he heading isn't his strength, he's not his strongest ability. Shirivea, that's a good ball, here's Curtis Jones, and Liverpool are in front. And Curtis Jones, who scored the brilliant goal at Anfield in round three against Everton, has unlocked Shrewsbury's defence in round four. One of the teenagers in this team drops it in. Oh, it's an own goal! It's an own goal! Less than 30 seconds into the second half by Donald Love, curled in by Nico Williams, and Donald Love, facing his own goal, has had an absolute nightmare. It's 2-0 to Liverpool. Here's Cummings. Good ball, that. Laurent uh, Larucci got the ball, I think. He is screaming penalty, and he's given it. Cummings, who's been on the pitch for about five minutes, scores! Adrian the wrong way, Shrewsbury back in the tie. It's 2-1. Gets down really well. well. The last time Liverpool conceded two goals in a single game. Oh, hold on, they might hear. Cummings, he's done it! Great finish! Super sub for Shrewsbury has come on and scored twice. Jason Cummings, it's 2-2. What a great finish. What an afternoon for Jason Cummings. Shrewsbury Town 2, Liverpool 2. And the referee blows his whistle and Shrewsbury Town will go to Anfield for an FA Cup fourth round replay after a quite brilliant comeback in the second half. Yeah, drops it into Chalabar. Nicely weighted, it's inviting here for Deli Bashira who does strike it brilliantly into the corner. It's a wonderful goal in his first start for Watford. Deli Bashiro makes it Watford 1 at Tranmere 0. Nice ball, and uh, Gray's onto it. Oh, he's actually kept that in play, Nelson will drop it back. And Clark and Monte have got themselves in a lot of bother, and success is there. Can someone pounce for Watford? Yes, they can, it's a second. And this time, breaking on the edge of the area is Chalapar for 2-0. Runs eventually to success after Payne tried to slide and keep his side in possession. Success, lovely ball. Gray, nice turn. 3-0, brilliantly constructed goal from Watford. Pereira's in, and they are absolutely flying in this first half. And at the near post, Clark keeps fighting for it. And back in, goal! But it won't stand, the offside flag has gone up. Jennings hasn't realised yet. It is a goal, Tramir do have one back. And they deserve that. Jennings has it, and it's Watford 3, Tramir 1. Right under the goal, Backman's dropped it! Ferrier, it's in! Tremier hoping this tie, and Monte is the man to get the goal for 3-2. Absolutely incredible character from Tremier Rovers. This is not done yet. Jennings whips it out to Blackett Taylor. It's been a revelation since coming on. Takes on his man. Has he won the penalty? No, it's a corner. Wow, the suspense there. Penalty kick to Tranmere, incredible! What a game! And what an opportunity!
for Tranmere Rovers. Tranmere Rovers were 3-0 down, and now it's 3-3. Mullin thumps it in. Absolutely remarkable scenes at Vicarage Road. Dan's on the outside to the byline. He's still going, the veteran. Dan's twisting, turning. Out by the goalkeeper. And it drops to a Watford player. An FA Cup comeback of the highest quality from Tranmere Rovers. Taylor with a corner. Plenty in home shirts inside the penalty area. It's towards Monte with a header. Watford just struggling to clear their lines at the moment here. It's back towards Monte, takes a deflection, goes in. But he scored in the original tie, and he's put Rovers in front here against Watford in the replay. Watford with a corner. Hines, Davis with a save. Hines will get another go, and another! He's managed to sneak it through somehow, and we're all square. Davis goes long. Mullin on the move, might get there, does get there, this is Mullin! Oh, outside of the post, how unlucky. Polabas for Watford, cleared away, only as far as Whelan. This is Callum Whelan to turn and shoot. Excellent save by Davis, threw himself across to his left. Gilmore maybe to measure the cross, it's flicked on, it's Mullin, it's 2-1! And is that the goal that gives Tranmere the fourth round tie against Manchester United? Zuma forward with Cahill. And Cahill has got that. Chelsea in front, just before the midpoint in the first half. Salah. Back with Ramirez, they've walked that one in. 2-0 now for Chelsea. Burst of acceleration from Ramirez, which opened up the Bradford defence again. Moraes with plenty to aim at with this free kick. His stead. And Czech's been beaten. Bradford have a goal back. was a fine finish by John Stead. It's come to Moraes. Bradford a level, just 15 minutes remaining. And from two down, they've made it 2-2. Two -two. Dead, looking to turn. Unbelievable! Andy Halliday to make it 3 2. Bradford, who did their share of creating cup upsets in the League Cup, poised to do it again now in the FA Cup. Well, that's so neatly done. They can wrap it up here. They have no arguments now. Mark Yates has made it 4-2. Chelsea 2, Bradford 4. Can you believe this? Again by Wilson. Is led. It's long. Oh, it's been deflected in. It's an own goal by Williamson. Newcastle stunned. Stevenage from League Two have taken the lead. Their first real attack of this second half. Well, they talk about the luck of the cup, and maybe that is Stevenage's lucky break. Stevenage are in front. Stacey Long shot deflected in. 
Nicely away from Barton. Policini's challenge is unconvincing, but there's nothing wrong with the finish from Michael Bostic. Stevenage have now established a two-goal lead. What a second half for Stevenage. They can't believe it. Payback time for 1998. Michael Boswick denied in the first half by Tim Krull, but not in the second half. You know, it's been a funny season for Newcastle. You mentioned it earlier on, you know, some great away wins, some poor home form, some good, good results. I mean, uh, it's one of those seasons. I was reading, uh, reading before, remember, the West Brom game early in the season. Oh, that's oh. a fantastic goal. What a wonderful goal for some consolation for Newcastle United. But is there time for them now to get a second one? No time for celebration. A brilliant effort by Joey Barton. Have they got any hope? Gives chase. So important now that Stevenage just hang on to the ball. Massinho. Colaccini's there, but he can't get in and he can't deny. Stevenage a third goal. Long have made the break. Graham Wesley at last can relax. Beautifully taken goal there. Slotted it away, and that really is game, game over. And a very famous win for uh, Stevenage here this afternoon. Who'd a body on in place of win, and that is it. Graham Wesley and his Stevenage team can celebrate. 73 places in the football ladder beneath Newcastle United of the Premier League, and it's Stevenage who go through to round four. Game in seven, that was that. They cut tie against Peterborough, but here's a first chance. Jackson, super save by Tyler. And the follow up from Sermon, straight into the defender. Excellent work from Luton. Norwich being very patient though, just keeping the ball. And that's a little bit of space for Sermon. Jackson makes a darting run, it comes to Kane. Lovely touch, and deflected wide and out for a corner. His car hasn't got there. Off the line from Leon Barnett, the former Luton man, thought he'd scored. Towards Rendell, who wins it. Lifts it up to Lawless. Can he do it again? Well, almost like he did in round three. On the volley for Alex Lawless. Just slices it wide. A real chance for Lawless. And he's on the charge. Got Rendell in the centre. Lawless arriving at the far post. It's there! Rundell, conference side, Luton lead at Premier League Norwich. What a great goal. That's a counter-attacking football at its best. And it's the two substitutes. Surely he's going to blow up now. Declan Rupp will thump it upfield. Luton Town are into the fifth round of the FA Cup.